So the hints you found in the Kenway House lead to the monument. What a wonderful use of your time. Follow me around asking obvious questions. Well, since Henry isn't here, I thought you might enjoy the company. I don't require any company. And Mr. Green is following up on some leads of his own. Oh, yes, Mr. Green. That's a fascinating idea. Oh, please, Mr. Green, come and take a look at this book and stand oh so close to me, Mr. Green. I do not. Too many today live in what well, perhaps you have nothing better to do, but I'm busy protecting the assassins. Are you really? What was it Father used to say? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Precisely. Anyway, I'm off. If I find any more wild geese for you to chase, I'll be in touch. It'll be ever more pleasant for your absence. I would like to thank our esteemed guests, the Right Honourable Premier Disraeli, members of Parliament and ours, for being here today. Follow me. Any news? Close. What's the latest? I've something I need you to do. But stop by, would you? I have something I might interest you. No! This looks familiar.
it's in the very top. The key to the vault and the shroud. Good day, Miss Fry. I'll take that. You and the shroud cement your own power. But what if you cannot control it? And why do you want the shroud? Merely to keep the Templars from having it. How like an assassin. To hold the power of eternal life, and yet be too afraid to use it. Eternal life. Is that what you think the Shroud offers? What I think is no longer your concern. <laughs> Listen to me. I have been ordered to keep your rallies off the streets. No, you must listen to me. The people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. Oh, you are Jacob Fry, are you not? And Miss Fry. We're at a disadvantage, sir. Karl Marx. Much like you, I am an activist of sorts. You've got the look of a man who wants something. Indeed. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade. But those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance, the working people. An interesting challenge. We accept. Shouldn't we at least talk about these things for... Sod it. We accept. I'm organizing a discreet meeting with some like-minded friends to discuss trade unions. The police seem to have noticed my activities. They've stuck to me like flies on shies on. In any case, I need you to help me get to the meeting without the interference of the police. I just wanted to look around you.
Similar problems with the police in Paris. Well, Paris and Brussels. And also, perhaps Cologne. Our next worthy ally awaits us in a nearby pub. Onwards. No doubt the police already have agents stationed within. I'll wait here until the coast is clear. The usual location. One hour. Right you are, Mr. Mark, sir. I believe our work here is complete. Well, I get over there, I'll bleed you through! Any last words? Do it now! Just walk. 
What's all that, man? What was that? Did you hear? Are you running from me? You better! Ah! Scream and it will be last. There's some sort of scuffle over there. We're going to take a walk, you and I. Simon, my friend, what possessed you to do this thing? Has the party not taken care of you? Governor of the Milsey. Any man what joins a union will be put out of work come sun up. How long will the party feed my family for? If we do not stand together, we are lost. My heart is broken, Simon. Please go. I thank you, my friend. I hope you will continue to aid the struggle when the opportunity presents itself. Oh, 
have to run. Feisty competitor. This is your last round. It's yours. just pulled into Waterloo. Once Stark's men arrive, they're gonna unload the train. Well, not if the train has already left. Assemble a team at Charing Cross. I'll send the engines there for you to recover. Central station's closed. Attaway's orders. You saw these blueprints, did you not? Were you aware of this floor? It's only a minor weakness, sir. The final wagon's otherwise 45. <laughs> Thank 
you on your way to the central station. I need to get to the central station. You and this whole lot. It won't happen until I have my train notices. Here's your damn schedule. We thank you for your patience. Oh, I... Thank you. Attention, passengers. All trains are being diverted. Get out of our way. I don't like the look of these assholes. What a shame. Good partnerships are hard to come by. Ours is most certainly dissolved. It's business, Mr. Fry. One does what one must to come out on top. Crawford will not take the news of my death lightly. He can be unpleasant when he's cross. I have sacrificed so much. I don't want to lose my buses.
When coldness or deceit shall slight the beauty now they prize, and deem it but a faded light which beams within your eyes. When hollow hearts must wear a mask. Mr. Sterrick, I told you not to disturb me! To break your own to see. Such a moment I but ask that you remember me, that you remember me. Crawford. A luster stripped by the hands of that savage. He must be brought to justice. Pearl would not want justice. Pearl would want vengeance. The passion is most welcome, Miss Thorne. But we cannot let our emotions disrupt the lawful structures of society. If we do that, the enemy wins. It shall happen in the shadows. Miss Fry will hang from the gallows, and I will flay her brother as he comes to save her. I suppose it must be done. Take no chances. Increase the Templar presence in London. We alone protect the City of Light. Yes, Crawford. And then we shall enter the vault and cast aside the shadows together. <laughs>